All right, guys, today's Instagram shout out is going to go to Regine Love 6. She says, Hey, Diamond, I still watch your videos. My comments are still turned off. I still support you, Regina Love. I don't know if it's Regina. Oh, well, I don't know. Oh, Regina E. Love. I said Regine. I just totally messed up your name. Baby girl, I am sorry. Regina Love. I appreciate the love and support, man. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video. Make sure that you do DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a Uncle Joe, he's still a hoe. Let's get right into this motherfucking video. Let's get it, y'all. Make sure you copy your merch right beneath this video, man. Diamond Life merch is in full effect. Let's get right into this, man. We're going to be reacting to Malu finds out her dad is not her real dad. So sad. I cried. I heard about this, but I never reacted to it, and I've never seen it. So it's going to be my first time. If it's your first time, let me know in the comment section down below. Let's get it, man. People that hate me probably don't care about what I'm about to tell you, even though it's really fucking strong. But it's crazy how in the comments, people are just like, everything that she's going through, she deserves it. Mm -hmm. I'm about to tell you, and then you're going to tell me about this. Every I had to tell you. I had to tell you. I have to tell you guys because y'all just, just, just making me feel more bad. You're just judging her. You guys are out here like. Shame on y'all. You're literally out here, like, telling me that I'm on some stupid shit, like, always and all that shit. You want to know what happened? Shame on you. I found out my dad was not my real dad. That's tough, man. I couldn't imagine. My real dad? Couldn't imagine. And I'm crying right now because I've been holding my, you know, my tears. I cried in the moment, but I'm still crying because I'm fucking shocked right now, okay? I feel you, girl. My You're real gonna be dad? Right. First, my mom hide this from me because in Cuba, we was poor. We had no food. We had nothing to eat. Okay. Nothing. So my mom had to get with the rich man so they could get her out of Cuba. But she still had her little boyfriend over there. Okay. So whatever, in case... Mama did what she, she had to do. Don't tell me he passed. Is in prison. Is oh, okay. in jail. Okay. At least he's still alive. My real dad is in jail. He's in Mexico. How heartbreaking would it be to find out, for one, that your your dad, who you were raised by, isn't really your dad? And on top of that, that your biological dad has passed. That has got to be rough, okay? And I remember... It had to be like an old MTV True Life episode where they had somebody on there who was in frantic search of her biological dad. She was super excited to actually go on the journey and she knew that, hey, your dad might not want to mess with you or have a relationship with you, but she still was super excited that, you know, this is a new part of my journey. This is a new chapter of my life. I never knew that, you know, um, my dad wasn't my dad. So when she found out, she went on a frantic search to try to find her biological dad and come to find out her dad had passed away, man. And that has got to hurt. So at least I know that she says that her pops is in prison, but at least he is not dead. And possibly, maybe they will be able to have some type of relationship, maybe pen pals, maybe she'll be able to go visit and actually, you know, open a new chapter or close a chapter that she didn't even know was a part of her life, you know? Y'all let me know how y'all feel. He's in Mexico, in jail. Mexico. You know how many years that motherfucker has? Too many. You know how many years that motherfucker has? 122 years. Ooh. So I'm never going to see him. That's a cartel ass nigga, jail. bro. And my mom Daddy was a gangster. My real dad told her that it was best for her to be with um, my other dad, Somebody the one that else. I always thought it was my dad, which he's still my dad, because I love that man. Right. The one that, you know, took care of me. Facts. My real dad told my mom that it was best for me 
to be with Juan, which is the dad that I have now. Juanito. Because he was going to give me a better life. And he didn't want me to live in the poor in Cuba. And my Cuba. real dad is now in jail. He's killed people. He's done all this shit. Now I get why I have curly hair. Now I get why I have this skin color. Now I get why I have my fucking eyes this this way. So you've seen a picture of him, I guess. How my dad has it. So I'm like shocked. It's a shocking thing. I'm shocked. I don't even know if I'm supposed to smile. I don't know if I'm supposed to like. Feel how you feel, baby. Not cry. You know. Feel how you feel. I just see people making fun of me. It's not okay. No, that's not okay. That's bullying. My real dad, which he has the same. The same mark that I have in my back, he has it in his back. That's how I supposedly know. I'm going to get my DNA test when I get to Miami. And I'm going to meet my real grandma and my real aunt. That they're mulata. They're like, Ooh. they're like skin Ooh, color. Mulata. So now is why I get all this okay, shit. Okay. That's why I really get all this shit. And I'm never going to see my real dad out of jail. I'm never going to see him out of jail. He's in Mexico. I'm gonna have to go to Mexico. But you can still see him though. Look on the bright him side. For my first time, supposedly my mom told me that when I was born, he was outside of the hospital just to see me. Hmm. Just to see me. And then I, I have the story, but I don't want to show you the story. <clears throat> my dad went to jail because he used to kill people. He killed like cartel or whatever. He stole cars. Grand Theft Auto ass nigga. Like, on some crazy shit. Call of Duty ass nigga. Crazy shit. That's why he has 122 years. And I'm never gonna see him out of jail. But at least you get to see him. Like, Damn, now oh, I find out who my dad is. And I can even see him. But you know, I don't blame my mom because I love my mom and I'm always gonna love my Facts. mom. And I know she did that just to protect me. Yes, she did what was life. best. But then I'm, right now, I'm just like, I've been living on a fucking bubble. I've been living on a bubble. I've been living on a bubble. And I've always I've always had that in my head. Always... Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. How do you guys feel about, say, you adopt a child? And what is your opinion on when it's acceptable or when you should start telling your son or daughter that they were adopted and that you're not their biological mother or father. When do y'all think that that is appropriate? I feel like the sooner the better, to be honest. Because when you break the news when a child is grown or, or on their way to maturity or adulthood, I feel like a lot of them get shattered. A lot of them, their, their world, their reality is totally shifted, you know? I can't imagine going 15 years of my life, 16 years of my life, thinking that my mom was really my mom, my dad was really my dad, and really I was just adopted. That would be crushing, it would be heartbreaking to me. I would feel lied to, I would feel betrayed, to be, to be honest. Whether those feelings were valid or not, that's probably how I would feel. You know, so me personally, I would, if I was in that situation as a parent, I would definitely raise my child, always knowing what the deal was, okay? I'm not just gonna spring that on them, but y'all let me know how you guys feel. It's always been like, is my dad my real dad? Because I don't even look like him. I don't even look like him. And the fact that all these TikTok people, all this shade room and all this shit laughing about me when they didn't even know what's going on. It's just like, you really don't know what be going on. You really don't know what be going on in my life. You really don't know what be going on in my life. At all. He wanted to though. I'm pretty sure he knew I wasn't his daughter. Yeah. I'm pretty but sure. But it's still sad to me because I told him. I told him. What did you tell him, girl? And I wanted to tell you guys, not because I want attention. No, it's because the comments that you guys were telling me were horrible. You guys were saying all this stuff. And it was really making me like sad, even more 
you're sad at 1 a.m. So I just had to tell y'all. We are in a different day and age, man. When I was growing up, we didn't have comment sections. We didn't have any comment sections, y'all. We didn't. And comment section is the best thing and the worst thing that ever happened to the internet. The world that these kids are living in now is just totally different. And if this was a normal situation, first of all, Malu probably wouldn't be Malu, the Malu that she is today. So the internet has brought us advancements. It has brought us positive things, you know, a way to make lucrative income and be free and be entrepreneurs. It has granted us all those things, but it has taken some of our privacy. It has taken some of our um, self-worth or self-esteem and things of that nature because, you know, you got the comment section, you got, you know, everybody has an opinion about everything. And especially if you're a social media influencer, it can really get to you like Malu, you know, and instead of Malu handling the situation offline. She comes online because online is all these kids know nowadays. So you can't really blame them. You can't really say that she's just doing this for sympathy or whatever the case may be, but this is the best way she knows how to deal with it. Maybe she wants to vent. Maybe she wants to get it off her chest and she feels like this is the way, best way to do it. And to be honest, man, y'all don't know as supporters, y'all don't know how much you guys can help. When it, when it comes to difficult situations and just the love and support that you guys give is, you know, is everything sometimes. So I understand why she did so. And um, I will say that at least she knows now and at least her father has not passed away. At least she can still go talk to her father and maybe, you know, have some type of relationship in that respect and um, kind of move on. But I think she'll be all right now. Everybody just had to tell you. I just know that I have to go to Mexico to see my dad. Mexico. That he's never gonna get out of jail. He's lifetime prison in prison. Lifetime. There's no way I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to take him out of jail. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Well, I understand where Malu is coming from, okay? She has a very, she has, she has every right to be upset, okay? And all those emotions, I have never went through anything like that. So to be honest, like, I really don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm just giving my opinion. So I would say, man, just got to look on the bright side. Look at the positives. It's easy to look at the negative and downsides and stuff, but at least your father is still alive to where you can go connect with him and have that relationship and build that bond with the person who made you, you know? So at least it's not too late. And hopefully you guys can, like I said, create a relationship, create a bond. Even if he is still behind bars, it's better than having no relationship at all. You know, that's my personal opinion. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you feel. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the diamond like 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend to tell a friend that today ain't your mama telling Uncle Joe. He's still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Lay y'all man. Peace. And we out.